Hey y'all, it's Brandon with Voodoo Forge, and today we're going to do a pretty simple fabrication project. This is called a rocket stove, and what it is, this is a, a little stove you can use to, to cook, uh, you know, eggs or hot water for drinks or whatever, and it uses natural fuel. You put your, your fuel in here, your fire burns in here, the air comes in here, and it cooks everything real fast and real efficiency, efficiency, efficiently. So anyway, it's fairly simple with scrap laying around. So let's make one real quick. Here's our starting material. This is all out of my scrap. Uh, this is 16 gauge, uh, two inch square tubing. Um, I went with the lighter gauge. I've got some heavier stuff around, but uh, the lighter gauge for lighter weight. Need a eight and a half inch piece cut at a 45, a five inch piece cut at a 45, and a six and a half inch piece cut at a 45. This is some uh, 3 8 square stock I'm gonna use for the, uh, the feet, I guess. And then this is some 3 16th by half that I'm gonna use in the pot holder. Now, even if you don't have a, a, a bunch of scrap laying around, if you go to the scrap yard or a fabrication place, you know, this is you know, like 18 and a half inches of this uh, two inch tubing is what you need for the body of this. Everything else you should be able to get pretty easy. Um, you know, but I, I <laughs> this is common drops off jobs I do, so it's not a problem for me. But even if you don't have that, it's not hard to get. Junkyards, scrap yards, fabrication shops, this is gonna be in their drop. So you can hunt this material up without having to buy a 20 foot stick. All our materials cut. It's gonna go together whoop, like this. So I need to cut out this much, leaving no, uh, you know, getting it flush with the inside. I need to cut this out of here. Okay, all the main parts are cut and ready to go. So before we fabricate this thing, let me explain the concept of a, a rocket stove. Um, now, this is the combustion chamber here, essentially. You get a fire going in here, and then the fuel comes in through this angled hole. Use small diameter sticks and things, and the airflow can come through here and it creates a draft, so all of the heat goes straight up. You don't have any wasted heat. Like if you if you build a fire and try to cook over it, you lose a lot of heat. But this way, all the heat's going straight up. So with a very small amount of fuel fed in through here, you can have enough heat to cook you an egg or make you a cup of coffee or whatever you're doing. So it's very cheap to fuel. So now let's get this thing tacked up.
how she's stuck together. Well, let's put the feet on. Just eyeballing it there. Gonna do a little bit more of that technical eyeball in here. Fairly straightforward. We're putting our uh, pot holder out of here. Whoop. Maybe. Now don't get the wrong idea, I'm certainly not saying use this thing inside, but this is a blacksmith shop. We weld in here, the forge is in here, there's all kinds of terrible things that happen in here. So we're on a steel table, not worried about the smoke. It seems to put off a lot of smoke. Anyway, now I'm using the traditional tender of my people, which is a cardboard beer curtain, but natural tenders work wonderfully. If you're in the woodlands, bush crafting or whatnot, It's going pretty good. I've got a cup of water and a canteen cup. See how long before you can make a cup of tea or instant coffee or ramen noodles or whatever you're making. Let's give you an idea as to what's going on in the combustion chamber. You know, the air is coming from this lower pipe and feeding it. So the fuel burns up pretty clean. This is some old cedar I had in the shop. It's kind of nasty outside. I don't want to go to the firewood pile. Now, of course, if you're trekking across Outer Mongolia or something, you can use twigs or, or whatever. That's, that's normally what we use. We've got a couple of these and we do these little hot drink days when it's chilly where me and the girls would go out and get us some water hot and have hot tea or girls like cocoa stuff like that you have to tend it a little bit just make sure that the unburned wood is dropping in there we are three minutes in and the water is starting to steam it's not pleasant for me to put my finger in there and we got little bubbles on the bottom so she'll be Boiling before long.
and boil at less than 10 minutes. Now I know the question has occurred to some people why you would want one of these little things. Well, um, there are other backpacking stoves out there that uh, will heat you know, whatever you want to heat a whole lot quicker than this thing will. Now, these are my two little backpacking stoves. Now the little butane mix job on the right weighs practically nothing and the fuel weighs practically nothing. My little peak one that runs on white gas uh, to be honest it with uh, a full tank probably weighs about the same as the uh, little rocket stove but the thing is the fuel um, the little butane mix those things are are getting expensive the last ones I got were about six bucks a piece and um, the little peak one runs on white gas that's uh, about nine bucks a gallon and uh, so you know you've got that and you can always run out of those with those little butane things you can't ever tell how much is in there so you have to get a new one every trip you on, or go on just to make sure you don't run out on the trail with this thing you're never going to run out of fuel uh, it is heavier but you're just you will always have fuel for it the other big advantage to using one of these is that's your waste for uh, doing uh, all of that. That's that's all that's left over. It's just a little pile of ashes. So, you know, as far as being more environmentally friendly, this certainly is. Well, okay, y'all. That's that's really all there is to this. I've made uh, several of these. I've, I've uh, for myself and friends and and whatnot. I've made bigger ones, uh, but I really kind of this two inch size works good for you know the little little trips we go on and stuff. So, um, but you know, if you want to make a bigger one, you can just scale it up. You can use a, a three inch square stock or four inch and just keep making it bigger. Just you know, size everything up as you do that but it's a, you know once you've got one made you're not going to wear it out i mean you're just not going to use it enough to wear it out so it's a neat little thing you could you can make to take camping with you or or you know even use it in the shop you know especially if you've got wood heat in your your shop anyway you know you fire one of these up so anyway hopefully you got some ideas from this and uh, y'all behave yourselves Oh, by the way, we have a uh, homesteading channel that's over there. And then if you haven't subscribed to, you know, this channel, for whatever excuse you may have, it's over there, you can, you can subscribe to, to us here. And then there'll be a, uh, a video or a playlist or something over here. And then there'll be another one over here. So check those out.